Hey Leo, welcome, welcome. This is your read. So we're going to start with these fortune cards. Uh, see if we're talking about uh, love today, if we're talking about uh, money, maybe we're changing jobs, we're moving, maybe we're dealing with a jerk. Uh, I also want to let you guys know that I got a surprise coming for next week, uh, starting on Monday. So you have to wait and see what it is. Definitely make sure you tune in. It's something I'm super excited about. And I hope you guys love as much as I do. Alrighty, universe. So what is this read going to be about for Leo? What does Leo need to know already? So we're going to grab the top card off of that pile. Let's see what she's got. So we have a lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. There we go, guys. That's how we're that's how we're starting our read. So that's what our read is going to be about today. It's going to sort of revolve around maybe taking our power back, protecting ourselves, protecting our maybe our livelihood, and being able to, to go for our goals. I feel like that card wants to pop out of there. It didn't want to go back all the way. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what else we got. So we have truth be told, which can speak to inner truth and being true to yourself, uh, not for you, uh, can speak to uh, possibly something you were working towards, not, not working out quite the way you thought, but trusting in the universe um, that she will take you to your goal. It might just not look the same as what you were doing. I have community, which can speak to the people around you, the fates. Also, definitely the universe is is working her magic there's something going on here i have no place like home as well i feel like directly tied into community hmm i feel like we're talking about your home life I feel like we're talking about the people within your inner circle here i have a new life serendipity which can speak to sort of everything working together everything being the way it's supposed to be getting you to where you you need to be at the end of the day recognizing how it's all interconnected a deep knowing can speak of of wisdom and faith in the universe round and round can represent uh, cycles and i do have a leg up which speaks to either you helping somebody else out or somebody else helping you out i feel like it's tied into this community it's tied into this no place like home hmm. i'm gonna grab more cards here we're gonna keep building on this read Oh, interesting. I feel like there is success in money coming your way. I feel like it's going to put you in a spot uh, where you can help the people around you. I have the Queen of Pentacles. She popped out at me. Uh, she speaks to somebody uh, who's wealthy and who's generous, who's caring, who's successful and confident. The Three of Pentacles represents starting to see the fruits of your labor. So change coming quickly, a positive change, positive things manifesting. The Page of Pentacles represents good news on the way. And Pentacles is all about money and finance. I also have the Death card, which represents change, transformation, closing the door in one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. So I feel like financial Actually, this is going to be a new chapter for you. A uh, three of wands represents overcoming obstacles while still working towards your goals. I feel like this is a goal that you've been working towards. You have had to overcome obstacles along the way. I feel like this not for you is part of the obstacles as well. So maybe you've had to sort of rethink your, your path, but your direction has never changed. You've always stayed focused on that goal. I feel like it is about to pay off. It's about to provide you with a new life that you can then share with others. So I have the temperance card, uh, which represents a balance between emotion and logic. I feel like it's tying into your journey too. I feel like it's it's tying into your faith in the universe that it will get you where you need to go. I feel like I see the word patience when I look at it as well, because I don't, I feel like this has been a bit of a journey for you. This hasn't been just overnight. This is something you've been working towards for a while. And so I feel like sometimes there's, these obstacles have, have proved disappointing with the possibility of even shaking you from your path. And I feel that's what the devil card is speaking to in this read. Uh, he can represent a destructive force in your life. 
I feel like he's speaking to some of the obstacles that you had to overcome were actually from within and maybe some doubt and some fear. The Hermit card speaks about introspection and, and gaining an insight through reflection. I feel like the Queen of Swords is, is a lot like the, the um, truth be told with the owl there. Finding that wisdom, that being true to yourself, being true to your path, sticking with it. The sun card is a good omen card. It represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. And I definitely feel like it is talking to money in this case. Now, the knight of pentacles represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. Oh yeah, I feel like you had to... You had to overcome some good ones here. I have the Tower card, which represents a sudden and unexpected ending, which I feel was probably the catalyst um, for this journey in the first place. I don't know if that was a romantic relationship coming to an end, uh, maybe a job loss, something, but something that you didn't choose. This was something uh, that happened to you, I want to say. You did not choose this change because I have the Seven of Swords, which represents... Um, a situation which you felt was unfair. You caught the short end of the stick. Something was taken from you. I feel like it's definitely tying into this tower card. The nine of swords uh, represents feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions. So much so that you have trouble finding clarity. Um, it also speaks to being able to take a step back and look at your situation in a new light. To find, to be able to find that clarity to move forward and choose a path. I feel like it's deeply connected in other people though too. I don't feel like this was something that you came through on your own with this leg up card. I feel like I feel like your family and the people around you helped you through this. I feel like they helped you to find this new path and they helped you while you were working along this new path as well. I have the six of pentacles which represents all kinds of abundance but also generosity. So I feel like you are going to repay these kindnesses when this money starts rolling in. Yeah, I have the Nine of Wands, which represents uh, working towards a goal over a long period of time. So I definitely feel like this is something you've been at for a while. The Four of Swords uh, speaks of taking time for self-care, for reflection, for rest. I feel like this is something you're going to be able to do quite quickly when this money comes in. It's going to give you an opportunity to sort of step back and take a breath. Um, I have the Chariot card, which represents perseverance. Uh, I feel like... You've had to do a lot of that through this journey as well. But I have the Nine of Pentacles, which represents happiness and abundance. Again, Pentacles is all about money and the King of Pentacles here. And I feel like this is speaking to you. It's speaking to wealth. It's speaking to success. It's speaking to generosity. I feel like there is going to be a good chunk of money coming your way. But I feel like it's not just one chunk. I feel like this is a new life for you. This is something that you built towards. It's going to be an ongoing income that is definitely going to improve the quality of your life but it's going to give you the opportunity um, to improve the quality of the lives of the people who helped you along this journey so i have the five of wands which speaks to conflict next to the four of pentacles uh, which can represent penny pinching so i feel like money has definitely been been a tough issue for you I feel like that's where your conflict has been has been laying on this this dramatic this unexpected ending i feel like that's what brought it about to begin with but i feel like also this path that you've been working towards hasn't hasn't been paying so well up until now um but definitely it's been a struggle the page of swords represents delayed or disappointing news so definitely delayed this has been a journey that you've been on for a while the full card to me uh, there is a duality in him. He speaks to a leap of faith. I feel like this journey that you chose, this goal that you chose to pursue did take a leap of faith because I feel like you weren't sure, you weren't 100% that this was going to work out, but you decided that there was a good enough shot and you were going to go for it. I also feel like it speaks to changing your perspective on life. I feel like this money coming in is going to change the way that you look at the world around you. This is going to be a whole new life for you. This Empress card is all about growth and nurturing. And I feel like she speaks to this new life that you have coming your way.
So I have the lover's card here. It's funny, I really don't get a romantic vibe off of the lover's card, but I feel like it's representing the love for the people around you and the loving relationships in your life. I feel like it speaks to, it speaks to how much you care for them. And it also ties in uh, to how I feel like you're probably gonna be paying them back. Uh, you're gonna be helping them out, giving them opportunities, sharing the wealth. I have the seven of pentacles, uh, which represents an abundant harvest, not just the abundance of the harvest, which you're about to see right away, but of the groundwork that has to get put in to attain that abundant harvest. And I feel like they're very much tied into that groundwork. Um, like I said, this was not a path that you did all by your onesie. You had a whole lot of help from people in your life who you love, family and friends as well. The Magician card represents having all the tools that you need to be successful. I feel like these people around you were some of those tools. Okay, that doesn't sound very good now that I've said it, but you know what I'm talking about. These people were a big part of you being able to move forward and find success in this journey. Uh, the Knight of Swords represents triumph in truth and clarity. I feel like he's speaking to being true to your path, being true to yourself, persevering and pushing ahead that is where you're going to find this triumph and it is coming and it is going to be a good amount of money it is going to change the way that you live your life all right guys that's what the card said to me i hope that you enjoyed the read please feel free to comment because i do love hearing from you guys and if you want to be considered for the free read giveaway at the end of each week remember all you got to do is subscribe and then just leave a comment on one of my videos saying that you are interested and i will add your name to the draw all right guys take care